we talked about uh, about common reasons M and A's fail, and uh, you mentioned because of sometimes the attitudes of the larger company. Right. Uh, any other reasons that may make an M and A fail? Well, you know, so, some sometimes the buyer will, you know, the you know e egos, <laughs> you know, are 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 um, you know can get in the way, and so sometimes people will be chasing. Uh, an acquisition um, just just to have a trophy business uh, they'll overpay or they'll um, you know or it's just not a st good strategic purchase um, ear early on in my career uh, an oil and gas client that I had they were a service company to the to the oil and gas industry and um, you know the owner bought a, um, a dry cleaner in Hawaii because he wanted to go to Hawaii. <laughs> Caused us all sorts of, uh, of headaches tax-wise, uh, but uh, ultimately we sold it. But uh, you, you see, you, see, you know, some, some people make decisions for very personal reasons and they don't always pan out business-wise.